Hey everyone, hi, I'm Michelle Griega. This is Gianna Franco. Hi everyone. Woo, it's Monday morning and Gianna and I, you know, we get up really early in the morning, but we were up late last night because we were watching the Golden Globes. It's award season, this is kind of the kickoff and you know we love some award shows, especially the fashion and all the great speeches <laughs> and the fun that happens on nights like last night. I know, I know, so it was good. So we have a lot to talk about. You know, In the Mix got started because of the award show. This season. is how it all came about. This is how it all yes, started. It so here we go. All right, so should we talk fashion first or winners first? Um, let's do winners. Okay, yeah. we'll do winners because that's more important than the fashion. Although there are winners and losers when it comes to fashion. Very, very sure. true. But we'll okay. do the winners of the Golden Globes last night, so. Okay, so actresses, Renee Zellweger, mm -hmm. winning Best Actress for Judy. Uh, I saw that over the weekend. Did. I had, and I did not expect what I got. I cried. I thought she nailed Judy Garland. I am one hundred percent she's going to win the Oscar. She took that character and just like you're, it's like you're watching Judy Garland, but it's Renee Zellweger, and you're watching her sing the songs. Like it was so good, Michelle. So good. Worth seeing. 100%. Also, I am a fan of Renee Zellweger. I think she's a great actress. We saw what she could do as far as singing, acting, dancing in Chicago. Right. So I think this one is just taking it to a whole other level. I mean, and she did. Like, it's you will be so impressed with her in this movie. And I, I'm so excited actually for the Oscars now because I really, really want her to win. Right. And I thought her speech was interesting, how she talked about kind of, you know, being gone for 17 years, how it's kind of a family reunion now. But let's put it in perspective. She did make a personal choice to take some time off from the business. So right. I don't, you know, some people took it out. she didn't take 17 years no, out of the business. Like six. Yeah, like yeah. maybe six. But yeah, it was her choice. It was. So, you know, I don't think she was being you know, rude or anything. I think she was just sort of being funny with the fact that she's been gone for a while. Right, right. Well, we're glad you're back, Renee I Zellweger. Know, good job. I did I not expect that. I know. So, best actor. I kept saying, and this is in drama, so I kept saying no one, no one, no one can touch Joaquin Phoenix. I don't even know. I haven't seen all of the movies nominated or where all the actors are playing, but Joaquin Phoenix's role in Joker, which Joker. you haven't seen yet, no, I, I know. haven't. I'm going to watch it this week. It just takes you, I mean, he's an amazing actor anyway, but this is just beyond what I've seen from him. Really? Yes, exactly. and I just don't, and you know, I'm a huge fan of Adam Driver, and I think he did such a good job in Marriage Story. Even then, I have to say, Joaquin Phoenix has to go all the way, and he's he has to get the Oscar. He has to. Everyone is kind of agrees with you. Like yeah. everything I've read, everyone who's kind of recommended the Joker, it says it's phenomenal. The movie's really good. The acting's incredible. He does an amazing job. The one thing I was sort of like taken back was his speech. It was I very know. colorful, I know. and it just was so all over the place. It's I think odd. It's you odd. have this moment, you yeah. know, to sort of thank everyone who was such a big part of your success in your life that you are enjoying and getting all this awards for why not just I don't know we all can like Michelle Williams who won an award she did so well when she gave her acceptance speech even though it was a little political which some people might not love but she was so well-spoken and she got her point across and I just enjoyed it him I was kind of like I what? can't hear half of it because they're bleeping it yeah she's very well-spoken but what King Phoenix though you have to remember right He's always said that he's against award shows yeah. and that he doesn't buy into the whole Hollywood Then excuse thing. yourself from winning. And then he's, didn't he try and do that one time? Did he? Yeah. Well, like I mean, he's, um, but he's he's kind of against all of that and the, you know, Hollywood elite and, and things like that. So to him, he's kind of a rebel when it comes to that. But yes, if he needed to make points, I think, <laughs> make the point. But get to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Seriously. Get to it. It was so much of that. In fact, there was a lot of political he's a strange undertones. Guy. He's a strange yeah, guy. he's a very yeah. strange guy. So you talk about the political undertones. I mean, is that something that people like to see, right? We've talked about this. Do you want to hear what the political, you know, causes are from these stars? Or do you watch these awards just because you just want to have fun and you want to, totally. you know, you want to see who wins and you love seeing the celebrity part of it. Um, I, I don't know. What do you think? I think when you have an opportunity to have so many eyes on you, you do want to share your opinions and sort of if you're trying to change the world and make it a better place. Great. I get it. But, you know, don't make your whole speech that because it is really a party. Like that's it's Hollywood's biggest party. It's, that's mm -hmm. the whole concept behind the Golden Globes. That's how they market it and brand it. So it's still a party. We're there to have fun and enjoy it and you know kind of see everyone who's kind of in the business so i think i can handle a balance of it yeah. last night i think it was a little too much it was a little much but hey good thing ricky gervais was the host right because he brought everybody back yes, down did. to reality i mean blah, he blah, blah. really did rip the hollywood yes, stars which i don't think you know i i don't like you know a lot of mean comments or whatever but this is that in comedy and it's, it's 
you know, it's what comedians do. Right. And it's what a lot of the hosts have done. Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, they've done it as well too. Just, you know, maybe not as crazy totally. as Ricky Gervais. But he did call out some hypocrisy that we see in Hollywood. Yeah. And that's, you know, everybody's talking about climate change and, you know, what's going on in Australia, which is so devastating to the people and the wildlife there. Yet, you know, people are taking private jets places. Right. And, you know, are you helping, you know, decrease your footprint by getting on a private jet? So that's kind of what Ricky Gervais was, uh, was talking about, amongst other things. I mean, bringing up the things that he brought up. The Judy up, Dench joke. The Judy Google it if you haven't seen it. I, we couldn't hear all of it, but I could fill in the blanks. You know, there were a lot of beeps. When a came lot to his of monologue. beeps. A yeah. lot of beeps, for sure. But and he's done this, what, four times now? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's done it quite a bit. So he's used to it. I don't know if he'll be back next year. He joked that this was his last one. Yeah, but he but. said that the last time, too. And I think he's just very controversial. I mean, yeah. there are things that he actually has come out and apologized for. Um, but I... I, I just, I love him. And you expect That might it. be bad, but I, I love him. It's I who he is. Host, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't mind it. I thought he was funny. I think people are so sensitive sometimes too, but yeah. I think it fit the night. It, he's a good choice for that. He had fun with it. People, you know, the reactions are always going to go to the Gosh. one person who's not laughing. I think it was Robert De Niro. Oh yeah. He's like no, no, no. stone cold, like what's happening here? And well, Tom the, Hanks, even, you know, he is my favorite actor in the whole entire world, but, um, it's funny, my favorite part of Ricky Gervais' monologue was watching stars' reactions because they're like, should I laugh? <laughs> like, what do I do? And I think it's funny, but if I laugh, does that mean I'm a bad person? Right. Um, so that was kind of funny seeing how they were all, because I think at some point, there's even a meme with Tom Hanks going, like, uh-oh, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There were some moments where we kind of all sort of cringed but secretly laughed a little bit. So know? can we talk Tom Haynes? Because yes, how we can. cute was his speech and it actually made me cry. Did it? It brought yeah. the emotions. Well, it when he talked about his family. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I mean. Like he, he gave such good, he, he had a perfect speech. You know, he talked about the things that were important to him, how he got there and, you know, gave a lot of credit to everyone who helped get him there and especially his family. No, I loved it too. I know. And I then he kind of called people out. Not, he didn't call anyone out, but he just said, you know, if you're there and you're making movies or you're making film or TV series or whatever, be on time for right. anybody, and that's good for anyone, but he, he, he touched on professionalism, and I just love that. Maybe that's why people just love you know working with him, because he just seems very, not only professional, but just a kind person, and he's an amazing actor, and Tom Hanks can do no wrong in my eyes, because I love, he's him, Tom love Hanks. him, love him, love him. He's Tom Hanks. Um, but speaking of people being late, Beyonce was an hour late to the show. She was an hour late to the show, and I hated her dress. So can we segue to fashion here? <sighs> sure. All right. There were some great speeches as well. Ellen DeGeneres, that whole oh, thing. I that was that. really good. Look it up. That was perfect. Yeah. Um, but the fashion <clears throat> had more misses than hits. If you had puffy sleeves and you wore a big bow, with the exception of Scarlett Johansson, no. It didn't work for me Gianna at didn't all. Like I it. did not like the big bows, and I didn't the puffy sleeves. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I know, I know. There was a lot of puffiness last night with those sleeves. Um, Olivia Coleman, she had. I, I love Olivia Coleman, I and I think she totally deserves the win for 100%. the crown because she's just wonderful. Not for the dress. Not for the dress. Not for the dress. I didn't like it either. The red was beautiful on her, but the big puffy sleeves, it just wasn't flattering. I don't think it's flattering on anybody. Um, and it just didn't work. I didn't like that. But you know who my least favorite was? Who? And you know, Jennifer Lopez was not my least favorite. I know you didn't like her dress, and I hated her she dress, too. She wasn't my too. least favorite, though. She was not my least favorite, either. But let's just talk J-Lo, first of all. She ne she rarely misses the mark. Yeah, she's usually she's usually spot on. But when I saw her on the red carpet, I was like, no, J-Lo. No, no, no. Oh, the bow. I'm looking at you, J-Lo. The bow. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It was too much. Usually that's, that's to hide a pregnancy, and I don't <laughs> think that's what she's doing. No, I don't think so either. <laughs> so, nah, I didn't like it, but you know I still love you, J-Lo. I liked her too. I thought there were some great dresses, though. I think Scarlett Johansson was in my top five for sure. Renee Zellweger nailed it. She looked beautiful. I she looked good She's night. my favorite. She yeah. was my favorite. She had a wonderful <laughs> night. I thought Jennifer Aniston, even though her speech was, or her presentation of Russell um, Crowe's statement Except was a little speech, odd. Yeah. Um, her and Reese Witherspoon looked great. They looked yeah, they very did. well put together. I thought they were beautiful. Sandra Bullock looked amazing. I um, loved her dress. Yeah. yeah, very colorful. Yeah, um, it was beautiful. But getting back to the least favorite, Gwyneth Paltrow was my least. I think I agree with you on that one. <sighs> After seeing that dress, I want to say that was rough. Please look it up. Yeah. And tell her to put it back on the hanger. 
<laughs> not a good choice. It, it just, I think there was a lot of skin being shown in some of these dresses, yeah. and it just didn't work, you know? Okay, so speaking of skin, what about Kerry Washington? Because I'm, I'm torn on Kerry Washington's dress because I think it was hot, and it's beautiful in theory, but I don't, and she's gorgeous. So, what but is, I don't know. Like, what is Kerry Washington doing right now, like, actress-wise? Like, I know her show's not on anymore, which I love that show, and I can't even think of the name of it right now. Olivia Pope was the character. Right. Um, so, that's Scandal. Um, so, she's, Scandal. yeah. So, I don't know. What, so, she, I think she needs to, you know, when they dress like that, they're sort of making a statement. Like, hey, here I am. I've got something coming up, maybe. I feel like it's sort of a look at me dress. You think so? I think so. I don't think it was necessarily her personality. I think it was a look at me moment. So Carrie Washington's dress was not working for me. I think it's there was so much to talk about with it, but with not a lot being there, <laughs> right? There's so much to talk about, so little. <laughs> yeah, it just not a lot covered. Yeah, it was I a know. little edgy. I know, I was on the fence about it, and then I just felt bad or uncomfortable i don't know what it was but you know she's very petite yeah and then ted danson was standing next to her presenting and you could just see like he's like don't look down mm. look down look this way <laughs> he's like and trying to be really careful ahead. and yeah so but i don't know I, I i it's pretty it was pretty it was different it was very it was pretty. different yeah and yeah. i think the jacket part of it was velvet uh, or was it ram? I'm not quite sure. I, I it looked a little like, yeah. yeah, velvety. Velvet was very popular with a lot of the men on the red carpet too. So that was kind of cool to see Jason Momoa, your guy. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. change it up a little bit. So it was fun. It was a great award show. It was a lot to talk about, and it was I, again. I love this time of year because here we go. Here we go, award yeah. season. Oh yeah, I love it. And you know the Grammys are going to be on KPIX five, so we'll be watching that. And of course, you know, rating everyone's uh, fashion and music and everything i'm so excited I and know. i can't wait for the oscars I know. it's gonna be wonderful all right let us know what you think who did you think was best dressed who did you think was worst dressed what do you think of all the winners good and good losers and <laughs> good culture and um what do you think about all the political undertones is that sure. something you'd really sort of is that work for you when you watch award shows or you just want to kind of check out be entertained and enjoy all the other stuff that comes with it and do you want brad pitt and jennifer aniston to get back together She's there you so go obsessed with this. <laughs> there's your in the mix on pick bye